Hey guys, Joey Misquick, aka Zucy Juicy here with my going second Dino deck. Um, not much else to say here. I got top eight at our Star Charity event, kind of like a mini regionals. But uh, without further ado, let's get into the list. And before we get into the profile, shoutouts to Midwest Gaming. Check out all their links in the description. Got the channel and eBay. But without further ado, let's get into the profile here. Um, first and foremost, obviously, we got the boy. Got Soul Eating Ovi Raptor. Um, Ovi, obviously, is your like bread and butter of the deck. Adds or sends a dino um, with triple misc. These are the only dinos I decided to max out on because they're the ones you actually want to open. Um, like most people are playing like triple baby. Like I don't want to open baby unless I have like a, a play to go along with the baby. So um, the rest are kind of like two us. I got double ultra conductor, also double archosaur obviously, and double baby with one petite and one pank. So, double ulti conductor was totally fine. Um, I didn't miss, you know, a third. Not that I ever played one. Um, one is too little. Two is a perfect number. Same with Archosaur. If you open one Archosaur, at least you still have one in deck for a missed play. The double baby and the one petite worked wonderfully for me for a total of three. Like I said, I just want to be able to search the babies and then go through my combo that way rather than opening them and hoping, uh, hoping I open a way to pop the baby in hand. And then obviously the, the one pank tops because it's literally the best dino in the deck. So, uh... uh Pank's really good against the Eldritch Zoo and also against um, Invoke Dogmatica. Like, if you just, like, drop Ovi, and they're going to let the Ovi go through because they're scared of miss. you just grab the Pank, summon Pank, and then you're just going to, you know, threaten the Schism with their Pank. So, th this lineup was perfect. Um, I didn't miss the Giant Rex. There are some situations where I'm grinding where I, I miss the Giant Rex, where it'd be like, you know, like, turn 4, I wish I could banish 4, banish the Rex, summon Ovi, add Ulti Conductor, rank 4, Ulti Conductor. So, it, it might come back in the list. I got to do a lot more testing. Um, hand traps, triple ash. Um, this card hits everything. The card I had in mind really were pots and red eyes fusion. Not that dragoon's too hard of a card to out, but I mean, like honestly, the card stops a lot of the format. Uh, other hand traps, triple gamma and a driver. Uh, gamma specifically, I don't really care for this going second. It was really more to protect misc. I didn't want to play called by the grave because called by the grave is like really meh. Like it's good against like, you know, going first. Not that I'm going first for the deck in the first place, so that's why I'm playing the Gammas. Um, this works going second. Also, uh, most of the time, I'll just try to activate Misk right away and banish it and get a negate out of them. Drop the Gamma, and that's usually game. Because this is 35 on board, plus Alt Conductor, that's 7,000 right there. And you just need to have little weenie dinos get in there for the last chunk of uh, damage. Um, for non-engine stuff in the spells, um, one Harpies, double Cosmic, double Lightning Storm. Uh, this was awesome. Um, I don't miss the third Lightning Storm. I don't miss the third Cyclone. Um, this is perfect. I play Pot of Prosperity, so it's another way of seeing these cards. Not much else to say there. Uh, the, the rest of the non-engine cards, I got the double mine. Uh, obviously, with the terraforming. Mine was, like, actually shined. Uh, I was kind of scared of the Eldritch matchup, because Conquistador is kind of a bitch for this deck. You just got to play it smart and not go into battle phase when they got Conquistador. But Mystic Mine, you throw everything at them, and your opponent feels totally safe. They're just like, oh, I stopped the Miscellaneous Source, I stopped the Double Evolution Pill, you drop the Mine on them, and you wait until you can push for game. So, it was amazing. Along with the Field Spells, obviously, Triple Lost World, and uh, I'll just kind of... Here, let's get rid of these Mystic Mines. I'll go into the rest of the, the Dino Engine stuff. So, obviously, Triple Lost World, Triple Fossil, Double Evolution Pill. This is all you needed. Uh, double evolution pill was cool. I know most people are siding just one out. I kept both of them in. This is a pseudo extender. Like, as long as you have a hand trap and a dinosaur, this is, like, always live. This gets pank. Like, this is, this gets pank. Like, that's all, <laughs> that's all I see in the card. Like, it gets pank or ulti conductor. Like, this card's amazing. So, obviously, if you open up the one, you want to have one in deck for the archosaur to go off. So, wouldn't change that at all. And to round out the list at 40 cards, I got three pot. So... There's a debate going on with dinos, whether it's extravagance or whether it's pot of prosperity. You know in dinos, when you activate a pot of extravagance, you're looking at your hand and you look at your hand, you're like, man, I hope this extravagance gets me to a fossil dig or a miscellaneous or a baby. Why not just add the card to hand? Why not just ensure you have the card you want? Like if you're dropping ulti conductor in a rank four, you're winning the duel regardless. Cause that's hard turn three to, to push over for any deck. So you don't have to reduce the life points to zero if you're still ending on Alta Conductor in rank four. So 40 card list, like I said, uh, let's get on to the extra deck. Extra deck's kind of weird. <laughs> I'm going to be straight up. 
Uh, Link Karibo, Secure Garna. Ooh, wrong way. Ha <laughs> ha. Link Karibo, Secure Garna. Uh, these are for your Archosaur play, just so you can dump a non-Dino for your double evolution pull, obviously. And one Anima. This shined. That was it. Anima is amazing. People don't play around it in Dinos, especially. They they don't have Anima in mind when they're summoning stuff under the extra Monster Zone. So this card shined. Free clears. We take those. Uh, the rest of the links, I got the one Lambda to kind of accompany the uh, um, Gamma. Sometimes when you hard open Gamma and you don't use it, you can kind of uh, make your baby and your Link Karibo into Lambda and then do your normal play with an extra uh, interruption. Bunch of Nightmares. Phoenix, Serb, Unicorn. Uh, just generic removal. Just takes two monsters to, you know, discard a card to get rid of a card. So, and then Axis Code. Uh, came up once. You're not Axis Code killing a lot, but uh, sometimes when people are too scared of the, the Tyranno and they clear it early and you just drop uh, another boss monster on them for game, then, you know, comes up. And for the Xyz, only one Dolka. I felt like if you're summoning a second, that should be like a... Like you're either in a really bad spot, or that could be like a Dweller or any other rank 4. And then Lagia too. Lagia shined a lot too. Uh, I find myself summoning Lagia going... Uh, I, I find myself summoning Lagi instead of Dolka against Invoke Dogmatica Shadal a lot because you just want to not lose to Shadal Fusion when they make you go first. So I think the card had its situations. Uh, Tornado Dragon, obviously, generic removal by detaching one. Um, Abyss Dweller. Uh, the only card that helped me kind of push for game, I, I didn't play Pentastag either, as you see, is Dugaris. Th the thing I had in mind is that against Prank Kids, um, a, a good Prank Kids player will always set up with bow wall bark and then a pandemonium set and what they'll do is they'll tribute it add two back they'll uh fusion for wash and they'll tribute wash to bring back uh cockle doodle do pointing to bow wow bark and if you don't know prank is that well they can't be destroyed by battle or card effects uh cockle doodle do is at 3000 attack and bow wow barks at 2000 so i just kind of wanted something there so i could game them even through that because that's that's kind of how they they make it to turn three is that they just end on that board and hope I just can't kill them through it. So Dugaris, like I said, pushed through that board. Um, and <laughs> the last two cards, super duper spicy. I loved these cards. Um, I call them Boom Boom Bug. <laughs> uh, especially when you like have to throw your uh, like interrupts at uh, a full board. When you're doing stuff like that, you lose card advantage. So if you just you know lead with a uh, rank four and then it's end on next ton night this will most likely go off then obviously they're not taking damage but you can battle and stack a zeus on top and uh zeus was decent uh i mean i just had the extra room so i mean any uh two monsters makes it so that i can send every card on field to the graveyard i think that seems pretty good and of course the side deck triple skullmeister is uh oh let's put these the right way this time <laughs> triple skullmeister Triple Skullmeister, this was, uh, what I had in mind was kind of Eldritch stuff, because this deck kind of is, it's not good at grinding, obviously, I'm not playing the Giant Rex, I'm not playing Quadalus, so once my engine's gone, it's gone. Skullmeister is also good against the Mirror, uh, and other niche matchups, Prank Kids especially too. And next, Triple Phantasmes, shout out Jacob Hernandez, appreciate the Phantasmes, and I'm not putting my cards the correct way. <laughs> Triple Phantasme, Triple Nibiru for the rest of my monsters in my side. Uh, this is obviously against Dragon Link, also against Prank Kids, also against Bird. Like any of these decks, these cards were phenomenal against. Uh, this card should be MST probably. I didn't really side this in going second because I didn't want to get double whammied when I uh, Cosmic something and they chain Lancia. So that was a big problem with the Cosmics. Uh, it didn't happen at all, but I know it's gonna happen eventually. So uh, more than anything, this is a going first card against certain decks, like back row decks when uh, they make you go first and I kind of feel like they're gonna make me go first, get that read. I decide this going in first. Uh, triple Dark Ruler along with the you know, combo decks, I auto lose to uh, Wind Barrier Statue. Like that, that board is hard as hell to crack. And that's when I lost into top eight. So I, I needed these cards. And last, kind of weird, but uh, uh, the only cards I played for going first was Dimension Barrier. Like I said with Lagia earlier, I just feel like when Invoke Dogmatica Shadal makes me go first, they're going to push through my board and kill me, or at least set up a window, and then I'm just going to lose. This, I feel like, was a skip one turn at least, so I can see turn three, then kill them turn three, at least. So that's the profile, 40 main. Um, yeah, I, I love Dinos. It did its thing, that's for sure. 
So, hey guys, appreciate you checking out the profile, and I'll catch you later.